What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a we're doing a Modern Horizons draft. It's actually currently 5.49 in the morning. I just got done playing the Red Bull untapped qualifier where I went 1-2, playing against three Esper decks. It was probably the most fun you can have without killing yourself. <laughs> it's just no, no, that's that's a that's hyper that's hyperbolic, but it was it was not it was not great. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do something that doesn't have to do with standard, um, because standard does not seem fun. How are we doing, guys? You back? Runa Cape, Vili, Hajigulashi. Now that I'm live, thank you guys so much for the gifted subs. You guys were unbelievable. I don't, I don't know how to thank you guys. You guys are so awesome. I really appreciate everything you guys do and all the support you guys give. Runa Cape, like I said when I was uh, when I was playing earlier, I was like, dude, I I don't think I remember seeing your name in chat like ever before last week and then all of a sudden you're like here i'm gonna gift you 150 subs and i just don't it's i don't even understand it man but i really appreciate you thank you so much dude really really appreciate it the seven and eight seven of eight players here soon you can do sanctioned popper streams i don't know if i'm there yet i don't know if i'm there there emotionally yet so we went one two against esper and like i was talking about it in the last Thank video you. and i don't know how i <laughs> Stinky Blinky. Stinky Binky. I love you too, buddy. I love you Thank too. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Totally reasonable, guys. What you're doing is totally reasonable. This is a totally normal thing to do. Thank you. Totally normal. How many gifted subs? A lot. Oh, do we just take the endling Thank this time? You. Oh, that's not bad. I think we're just taking Endling. Maybe this Pyrophobia comes back. Joke's on you. And... So black... Both black, blue... And, uh, are we just Iceberg Cancrux in here, guys? Is it Iceberg Cancrux time? Um, I turned the fan off because it was getting a little chilly. A little chilly in here. Why are these sideways now? Oh, because I guess the packs are... Yeah. Alright. Whatever. Hmm. This card seems great. I don't really want to give that up. I don't think it's Rank Officer, though. Vengeful Devil? It's alright. Vengeful Devil's alright. I can't. I can't with you guys. I literally can't deal with you guys. I guess it's just ventral level. I, actually, I'm going to take the Rocks Veteran. I think Rocks Veteran is the strongest card in that pack. And then we kind of get rewarded with this Kai's Guile or a Pyrophobia or a Carrion Feeder. What a mob? Wow, the black is stacked. Thank you. Yep, Thank these you. are... Uh... You guys have, uh, you guys are, I think you guys are running out of, of people here because, Thank uh, you. you're dipping into my friends now, like Brendan DeCandio, my friend Mike Brum, Fluffy Unicorns is my friend Abby. So now Thank you're just, you. now you're just, now you're just making, uh, subs of friends. Uh, each one's not a creature. Yeah, I think this Thank is good. You. Is it better than mob when I can just choose to kill whatever they want? I don't know, maybe, probably. We can probably still get another mob. I don't think there's a reason to take a red card over a guile or a mob. So I think we're in the right colors here. We could also let this go and just maybe it comes back. This is an Urza's Rage is nice. I'm gonna take this other Rocks Veteran here. Um, Gargantua seems fine. Runa Cape, <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate. It. Like, it's gotten to a point where, like, I don't even know how to respond anymore. I'm just, I'm emotionally tapped out from you guys, your ridiculousness right now. I'm going to take this gluttonous slug, because I think slug is actually very good.
Diabolic Edict, Azra Smoke Shaper. Probably just Edict, right? Is Edict good here? Is Smoke Shaper good? I don't know. This pack's pretty rough, but I think we can take the Edict. There are billions of people. I don't think they can give subsidy. Yeah, but it starts to pull from, like, your community, which is, like, people who follow you and people you follow and stuff like that, I think. So it's, like... So I think it gets to a point where it just, like, takes... Um starts taking random like random people from that who actually are not really connected <laughs> press one for really two for runic cape wow wow oh god guys i also don't know what i deserved for this ridiculous sub train because i'm kind of just streaming an event at five in the morning and that doesn't really make any sense to Also, uh, in case you guys did not know, on Monday, we're going to be doing this bad boy. July 1st, we're going to be uh, doing the early access course at 2020 Stream Event on Arena, so that's going to be sweet. We're going to have full access to the set. We're going to be uh, making decks, playing some stuff. Maybe we'll be able to crush some Esper decks. That would be ideal, but... Knowing the uh, the group of streamers that uh, that are going to be included, I doubt it's going to just be Esper, 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 Esper. So, you know, ideally. Wow, there's a lot of red cards in this pack. Uh, I think it's just this guy, like. Do I just take a red card here? I guess we can just play this guy for five, and it's good if we have... Yeah, and then we have no red cards. I'll just take the cave. Seems fine. I won't stop gifting stuff until I have Jason Alexander or Jerry Seinfeld. Wow, that is a that is a lofty goal. I don't think either of them follow me on Twitch. I'll be honest with you. Maybe Larry David might, but hard to say what another i think if you have enough diabolic edicts they're pretty good we have three edict effects already right now that's pretty good lay that pistol down i kind of want the second scavenger but like i think i'd rather just have three drop three drop is good with gluttonous slug and we don't have any three drops yet so i think that's fine i also don't want to Ooh, take nature's chant. Yeah, I kind of like the way this deck looks so far. I think Slug, Endling, Two Roxes, Gargantua, Kai's Guile. I think those are some very good picks. I'm not thrilled about the, the Edicts or the Knight, but... That guy's playable. I could bounce a Ward Eye Witch for that. Yep, and then we Audible to Blue. This card is Bonkers. Uh, there's no chance on earth that I'm passing this and uh, we're just going to find a way to play it so I would also be very willing to take the white out here and uh, I don't think it's even remotely close so there is that another rocks veteran we can also take the exclude I'm not super concerned about losing this I don't like losing rocks veterans and Kaya's guile but If we're playing the Fallen Shinobi, Exclude seems pretty good. If we're not, Rock's Veteran seems very good. I don't think we need a third Rock's Veteran either way. I'm going to take the Exclude. This guy's actually fine. Putrid Goblin also very, very good. This is like the fourth Pyrophobia we've seen. I mean, if this hit players, I'd be pretty scared, but I think we're just taking the Putrid Goblin. It's a pretty decent two drop here and it lets us i mean like we're we're definitely black one way or the other so Q 
Carrion Feeder seems decent. Phantom Ninja seems great if we're going to fall in Shinobi on turn four, which is really all I want to do. All I want to do is Phantom Shinobi. Oh, Villy, getting out of here? Haji Galosh is getting out of here. Runicape, still here. Biovision is getting out of here, man. You guys are leaving me hanging. I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight during the event. Really, really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Billy, thank you for so much, so much for all the support, man. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take the Phantom Ninja. I think it goes well with Fallen Shinobi. Also, it makes this Azura Smoke Shaper a little bit better. All right, we'll put these over here for now. We also do have one Cave of Temptation, which lets us splash these if we wanted to. Which I think is fine. Hmm, Cabal Therapist. What's getting released on Tuesday? What does that mean? Uh, I think we're just taking the Eye Kite here. I'm going to put the Dabble Like inside. I don't know how good they are. Whereas I like Eye Kite over Smoke Share. I just want creatures that can get in. And both Gluttonous Slug, even if you play, if you attack on three with Gluttonous Slug and they don't have two creatures, you're just getting in for free. Uh, it's the streamer early access event, if that's what you're referring to. It's July 1st, which is Monday, I believe. Yes, it is Monday. So we're playing that. Uh, it's got to be Defile. We are heavy black, and I think it's much better than Windcaller, even. Another Putrid Goblin? Ooh, another Settle Beyond Reality. And by another, I mean a Settle Beyond Reality. Hmm... It settles much better than Putrid Goblin, but I think we're taking the Putrid Goblin because we're just gonna stick with. I don't want to. I don't want to spread my white too thin. Another Putrid Goblin, huh? Mono Putrid Goblins dot deck. We got crushed by a bunch of Putrid Goblins before, so I'm not like super opposed to taking a million Putrid Goblins. Um, I don't think it's Mind Rake. I think Tribute Mage is actually pretty decent if we can pick up a white black um, Talisman. Oh, uh, wow, Rock's Veteran came back? Do people know how good this card is? Return, uh, I like String of Disappearances here. I think Return from Extinction is great, but... This is a zombie shapeshifter? Oh, wow, if we have a Return to Extinction, we can get back Endling and Fallen Shinobi? Yeah, alright, I'm gonna do that. Uh, there is kind of a Goblin deck, yeah, it's like a, there's like a red, there's also a red-black Sacrifice deck. Oh, well, that's interesting. Scovian Angel's pretty good at Fallen Shinobi. You're just like, mm, get in there. This guy has Menace. He's just a 1-1 Menace. Yeah, I'll take the 1-1 Menace. How good is this in Limited? It's got to be great in Limited, right? Yeah, we're just taking the Hogak. I mean, like, it's not headless, it's not choking, the white cards aren't great. Yeah, we're just taking this, the 8-8 Trampler.
Throat Seeker's great. Um, if we can pick up a couple more ninjas, I think this card's awesome. Also, Fallen Shinobi with Azra Smoke Shaper and uh, Phantom Ninja are great with Throat Seeker. Uh, Dark Steel Spork, unfortunately, this is a Phantom Draft, so no tickets for us. Smiting Helix is nice. And we're probably playing Cave, so... I mean, it's possible if we get a Talisman that we could play it. But either way, even if you're just playing the first half of Smiting Helix, it's still good. It's still basically War Leader's Helix that deals one less damage, so... This is the red half. We can actually take Fire Islet and play the red half of this, and if we get Cave and Fire Islet, it's just a nice little bonus. And there's literally no blue or black cards I would play in this pack, so I'm just going to take the land. Ingenious Infiltrator this late? Wow. We are getting rewarded, ladies and gentlemen. Ideally, this Fairy Seer comes back. I'll even take a string of disappearances, but this is like... Oh, well, there's a Fairy Seer. Speak of the devil. That's definitely what we want. We want to hit one drop Cabal Therapist or Fairy Seer so we can go turn to Ingenious Infiltrator. Oh, that's great. That's great. Force of Negation. I think I could just take this. It's just literally a counterspell, and you can play it on their turn. It's, I mean, I'm not going to take a Sculling Sliver, a Third Diabolic Edict, or a Stream of Thought, so I think that's actually totally fine. Technically, we don't even need to play the Cave. This is a solid 22. I'm not going to play a second Ward I Witch. I could definitely, I'm sure we can pick up one more playable here. Another Diabolic Edict. Another Return from Extinction. This pack's also not great, so we'll just take the Return. Whatever. Yeah, this deck looks amazing. Fallen Shinobi, Throat Seeker, Ingenious Infiltrator. Like, also Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. So we, like, have a bunch of creature types. We're getting two of Endling. Getting two of them back would be great. Tree Mage is pretty bad right now. <laughs> Also, this is a Slug Horror, and this is a Horror, so we could even name Horror with uh, Gargantua and Slug if we really need to. We have four Goblins, also an option. Uh, I like Choking Tethers. I think it's definitely playable. I would like to take this Tribute Mage out because I think it's pretty pretty bad. Gargantua, I'm not a big pro Prohibit fan. Fairy Seer, come back. Oh, blue green snow ramp, and then hitting the the hogak. That's the that's the dream right now, right there. Rebuild, not gonna do it. Um, whatever, I'll take a rebuild anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna play any of the lands. Yeah, it's not creature, but I mean, like my point is, it's in a gate that costs three, which is still strong and limited. You still get to protect your things, so. Yeah, Morphous Axe, not bad when you're playing evasive creatures. Scavenger, also great with Triple Putrid Goblin. Deck seems good. I'm a fan. I might actually probably play Force of Negation over... <clears throat> over the Morphous Axe. I think it's just fine. Like, if we have Fallen Shinobi out and we can back it up with Force of Negation, like, that's just cool. We're not going to often be able to play it for uh, its alternate cost because we don't have that many blue cards, but... Eh, Lord I Witch, I guess. Answered Prayers, is that's a late Answered Prayers. Um, but even if you're just holding up three, it's fine. If you have a Fallen Shinobi and you're holding up three mana, like, you should be winning.
So I don't think we're actually splashing for the smiting helix. I don't think we really need to. I think we're just playing 9-8. And two forests? Nope, not doing that. Yeah, we're definitely going to play more more swamps, but we also have double blue, uh, double blue. So want to make sure we have mana for that. We also have a one drop for for blue. Make sure everything is as it should be. I think it is. I think everything's good here. Yeah, all these cards are good. Why are we up so late? We played in a Red Bull Untapped Qualifier tournament. We went one two. And we lost to, we played against three Esper decks. We lost to two of them. I was third. I was third. Man. Out of my out of my four person pot, I was third. So I guess we can close this event. Oh, one land, huh? Got a Cabal Therapist. Well, we're not keeping this one lander. Mm, this is not better, but it's fine. I want to put you on the bottom because I really just want to hit, like, Ingenious Infiltrator or lands. Ingenious Infiltrator would be gas here. Fallen Shinobi, also acceptable. Pre-combat main phase. We need just an online card. Yeah, Menace is good here. We can also get rid of choking tethers uh, for to keep a force of negation, which is great because I don't super care about forces. I don't super care about choking tethers. Two one with bear tribal, three mama bears, three savage swipe, and two good luck unicorns. That sounds very very good. I would be like, what? Oh my god, what is this even doing in here? Still, oh wow. That guy's very good. Runa Cape, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for all the support. You are insane, man. I really, really appreciate it. You are wonderful. Thank you for coming out of nowhere and just giving me 150 gifts and subs in like a week. Thank you so much, dude. Have a great night. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I'm going to say no. I'm going to play a land. What did they get? Universal Automaton. Who cares about that idiot? I mean, we're attacking because we're obviously not going to be blocking. There's no situation where I block their... I block their guys. Yeah, we're going to take five here. We have like six two drops. We have like three putrids, a slug. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nope. Well, ideally we get some creatures here, right? Come on. Ooh, Lancer Sliver. Oh, this is nice. Cast this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, that was that was great. Good for us. Wow, this dude's in this card's insane. Yep, that was some value right there. And now our sliver beats your sliver, and we only take three. Okay. Match three, I lost game one to mana screw and game two to flood. Yikes. I'm um, so that's not the kind of uh that is not the kind of uh, skills I wish to bequeath upon my my viewers. No, I just took a nap. I took a nap before. I took a nap from like eleven to two p at two a.m. And um, so I'm actually feeling pretty awake. Also, to be fair, I usually stay up till four or five a.m. anyway, so this isn't too much past my bedtime. And then considering the nap, it's like, well, now I'm just. Ooh, that guy's good. Okay, so I think we're going to Choking Tethers the board. Hope we get some good hits here. I'm 
Yeah, that seems fine. Not ideal, but I mean, like it holds down the fort, so. <laughs> Your beard is looking so well. I mean, I do what I can, man. I do what I can. I'm just one man with one beard, you know what I'm saying? So this guy's got first strike. This guy's got first strike. That's pretty good. They get to tap one dude down. I mean, this is an easy block. I'll just block, or I'll block here, chump block here. They have three cards. It's a lot. Ooh, no attacks though. That's nice. I think our I think our uh, fallen shinobi days are over, unfortunately. The deck seems good. Ranger Captain of Eos, Rocks Veteran, Ravenous Giant, Magmatic Sinkhole, like, it's pretty good. Oh, there's Outlasting. Okay. Three, four, five, six. There's a lot of... No, I, don't, I have no idea what I'd ask for there. Let's go land. Scavenger is just four damage in the air. Hmm. Like if we play if we play Scavenger and Alpha, who what are we sacrificing? I mean they probably go they have to block here, right? So they can either go like three, three, two, four, block here, take three. And then we get to eat like Rocks Veteran. I mean they probably go three three one one on here. Or three three two four on here because then they get to eat, they get to keep one. It's just a one for one. Alternatively, we can just play Endling, and we can keep up Death Touch. And I guess they're gonna they're probably gonna tap the Endling, right? But um, I mean Scavengers no Scavengers only two turn clock because or it's a three turn clock because we're only gonna deal three and we lose a blocker so I'll just play Endling here. I fell asleep while watching. Woke up with a gives and sub. Patanda, glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. The problem is we have no good single attacks. Like we can we can attack with just this guy, they block. If we attack with both, they block block. If we attack with this guy, they block block. So we it's either like it's a really all or nothing situation here. That's totally fine. That's a totally average sliver. This is a situation where I would love to have one of the, the drakes that you can discard to give flying because then we can just fall in Shinobi their face. Thankfully, none of their guys have... Um, no, I'm good. 
one, two, three, four, five. None of other guys have. Are you interested in reading some popper changes? Not really, just because I'm not a big popper fan. I actually don't even know what they are. I heard that they unified some things, but I actually don't. I didn't even. I didn't even know what that meant, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge popper player. Give this boy menace. So they can just block with the 2-4. I guess if they do that, though. We're going to play this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to play Scavenger. If they block with just 2-4, we give Menace. Everything else we're going to be trading with. Let's sack Cabal Therapist here. So they're going to have to block with two guys. They'll probably block with sliver and sliver we can kill this one and then get a uh, undying so it comes back as a 4-4 this guy will be buffed draw a card First strike death touch. Well, this isn't a changeling. Like, so it doesn't have first strike. It is a shapeshifter, but it's not a changeling, which is similar, but different. Popper allows play points and is a sanctioned format for local game stores, and they have an actual official card list where they allowed a bunch of cards on MTG on paper. Oh, that's interesting. If it was common at any point somewhere, it's now allowed. Also gather... Oh, that's actually awesome. I mean, even as someone who isn't um, interested in Popper, like I'm not a Popper player, like that's still super cool because it's it just gives you more options and more, you know, this is six damage. You're just taking six. Hmm. Are they going to kill us here? Oh no. Mistakes have been made. They tap one of our blockers, and then we have two blockers. I think we just killed ourselves. <laughs> I think we're dead. Yikes. I think we got too greedy. I think I just assumed they block with something, and then they didn't, so... Block, block, you take. Yikes. Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty fucking bad. Yeah, that's for sure bad. Yeah. All right. Well, that was cool. So, 5, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're literally, yeah, we're literally dead to exact seas. That's so stupid, man. Uh, could not be more vomitous that we lost that game. Unbelievable. Yep, that was good times. I mean, they have to have exactly pump spell for the extra, like, five damage, four damage, whatever. I will keep this hand. Yeah, anything that diversifies a card pool, whether it's modern, extended, legacy, whatever, as long as you're diversifying and giving more options to a format, like I'm I'm all in favor of that. Hall of Heliod's generosity, that's interesting. Knight of Old Benalia suspended. Let's keep that guy in mind. Um, Bottom you, and we'll top you. Boop, 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 boop. 
Pauper Masters. <laughs> That's just commons, all of them. <laughs> oh, man. Grandma, there's not even any rares in these packs. I was going to say, let me draw Fallen Shinobi, but I know we're drawing an island, so... Fallen Shinobi or Ingenious Infiltrator. I'll take either one. I'll take either one. Yep, that guy is unexciting. All right, this guy's really, this guy's really outlasting us all here. Okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. Man, I would absolutely love, just love, to hit a ninja of some sort. Grandma, there's not even any rares in these packs. Any land is good. Any spell is good as well, because now we can cast pretty much anything except for this Gargantua and maybe like a Hogak. But I guess we can even still cast a Hogak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just tap two guys. Yep, that's good. Not for us per se, but... We only have one card in hand. It's nice. This guy doesn't come down next turn, which means we can put them to six. Uh, yeah, that's that's the dude. All right. We're just blocking with the persist guy. That seems great. Get to scry. What a time to be alive. Ooh, defile seems good. Do we care about a defile? Kind of. So next turn we're gonna be able to, we can probably alpha. If they block here, we get to defile this guy. If they block here, we can defile this guy and trade. Yeah, I'll keep that. It also lets us keep up force, so. Oh, they're just gonna outlast that guy. Interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven. And they have four, five, six. Yeah, this seems fine. Um, yeah, don't care about you. <laughs> Sorry, my dude. So this guy doesn't come down right now, so that's good. But they do have 10 power on board. It's a little scary. Three, four, five. We have six power on board, though. So we have dead. We have lethal. Only three of us unblockable, though. Is it in between rounds for the Red Bull? No, we actually... Uh, it was only. It's only three rounds, and then you have to be in the top. There's there's groups of four. There's 56 groups of four. And if you, if you placed in the top two of each of your group, I was third because I played against three Esper decks and I beat one of them. Uh, I Then you get to advance to the single elimination rounds. Yep. And that's actually very good next turn. Holy smokes. That actually probably just wins us the game, right? I wish we had one more blue card in our hand, but what did we play? We played a combination of like Bant, uh, Bant Ramp and also Gruel Aggro. We played two different decks. Torny was definitely Oops All Esper. It was unfortunately Oops All Esper.
Do they like board in the mono mono white here? Cast one, two, three, four. <clears throat> All right, wow, choking tethers wins us the game. That's that's something right there. I almost want to bring in the edicts because they just kill all of their things. I don't think creatures are dying enough for the return. I'd rather have an edict. I don't think we've seen a single spell. We'll take that out for another edict. I think that's good. I guess at a point where I don't even care what your creatures are, I just want to get them off the board. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is what we want. This is what Father likes. Um, We have four lands, and we're going to be drawing with Ingenious Infiltrator. I will bottom both of those. Lava Dart. Wow. That's so dumb, dude. That's vomitously dumb. Things are looking up. <laughs> it's all right. Well, we're still in it. Still in it. We're doing good. Living what's known as the dream, guys. The putrid imp dream. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. That's a big dude. No blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Goblin. Goblin. Double goblins. No, yeah, I take that point. I feel like we're pretty ahead here. This is nice because, like, we get to Diabolic Edict and they have to sacrifice this guy. Or they just play another big thing and then. Yeah, that's actually alright. It's not great. Well, we drew a card off of this ingenious infiltrator. Maybe their own ravenous giant kills them. Is that a possibility? I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Let my guy come back first. It's a lot of rocks veterans. Like an, un an uncomfortable amount. And this is also an uncomfortable amount of blue sources when we have lots of things that want other colors. So they just go tap down, tap down. And they're in a very good position. This is such a yikes for me, dog. And that would have been good last turn, but here we are. This feels really bad. Our deck is great, too. 
Interesting. This is where they shelter. <laughs> Guess that's better than playing a creature. Just kidding, they're going to play a creature anyway. Yeah, that's that's terrible for Diabolic Edict. Hmm. You gotta go. Like, not having any much targeted removal is pretty bad in this matchup. Like, we just want to get rid of these three creatures, and these two idiots on the end are preventing that. What would have been what would have countered Oops All Esper? I have no idea. I, I don't I don't think there's anything that's great in the format against Esper. I don't think there's any like an, any Esper. And I talked about this at the end of the last video. I don't think there's any Esper killer in the format. Where you're just like, oh, wow, this deck just beats Esper. Like, even if the deck this beats Esper but has a bad matchup against the, the rest of the field, it keeps Esper in check. Because if everyone's playing Esper, then you just have that good matchup against it. Which makes less people which makes fewer people play Esper. So it's like, okay. Yep, now the swamps are coming. Let's get this guy out. I'll draw a card anyway. So we tap two guys down. We have three blockers. We can go block, block, block. We're not strictly dead. Meanwhile, this is seven damage, eight damage. Oh, no blocks at all. Yeah, and we played Gruel. We played Gruel against one of the Esper decks, and we crushed them in game one. And then in game two, they just board in like all their Kaya's Wraths and Oath of Kaya's and things like that. This is so many Rogs veterans, man. Oh my god. I feel like we're at a point where we have to Edict here. That's that's the obvious choice, but this guy just kills you, right? So we have to give you menace. And then we get to eat two guys, which I think is great. Cause now you either you just block with like these two guys, then we just get to eat two guys. Three rocks veterans, great. One, two, three. We still get to block two of them. And uh, this guy gets to come back. So we're going to go... Yep, you're going first. Uh, gain death touch. Gain undying. Yep, that was pretty broken. <clears throat> wasn't there a pro statement that Esper Mirror was so horrible they didn't bring Esper to tournaments yeah that was for me actually I made it uh, in this video and in the previous video I was just like I just I, I could just play the Esper deck but I don't want to play like if I played Esper all four of the players in my group in the Red Bull untapped qualifier would have been Esper players and it's just unbelievable so no but I mean I can imagine there was someone who said that for sure Wow, I did not think we were going to win this match because we were falling far behind, but Endling is a f hell of a magic card. Fallen Shinobi? Diabolic Edict. Okay. Oh, two, three away. Ooh, did they say something? I don't know because Magic Online takes the chat away, so that's sad.
Either way, Arctic is sweet. What about the unblockable dude? Uh, it doesn't matter because I don't want to minimize my blocks in case they have something broken next turn because they're already tapping three blockers down. And, um, like, Endling's going to win the game in two turns anyway. Like, because it's going to eat two guys this turn and eat two guys next turn. Endling makes me moist. Well, that's something. That is something. It's We're getting to a point where, like, the sun is almost going to be coming out soon, and that's going to be super awkward, because I have to figure out when I'm sleeping. Let's play first. Oh, yeah, keeping this hand for sure. I kite into Infiltrator. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what Father likes. <coughs> That'll do. I kite into infiltrator. That's that's what father likes. Kite is actually great here because not only does it evasively get through, it also blocks the fairy seer. So that's pretty, pretty good. They kept both cards on top. It's a little scary. Your favorite and mine. All right. I like it. Cycle unearthed. Radio. Radio. All right. Let's see if you got it. You have to have it, right? No? What? Oh, that's so rude. That's like the rudest thing you could possibly do to another human being. That was not ingenious. All right, so we're actually just going to play Putrid and Ikite here. We could just rerun this guy out, but it's just a bad use of mana. We could also we can't play Fairy Seer and Phantom Ninja in the same turn, so
Interesting. Choking tethers is good. All right, let's do let's do one of these drawbies. I have a feeling they're gonna block. <laughs> yep, that I feel. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Ninja's good here because next turn we can play Infiltrator, and then they both draw cards. Oh, I see. This is rough. I don't want to get fallen shinobi here or some nonsense, so I'm literally just going to block both. <clears throat> like, we just come out ahead here if, uh, if we get to untap player guy. Seems good. Although them having one swamp is nice for us. Yeah, you know what time it is. We can also keep the eye kite in hand because it only has two toughness, so. That's very good. Surprisingly good, you might say. Um, fairy Seer? If we play Fairy Seer, they can just X is 1, which is rough. I think we're actually fine like this. Uh, I think they said they're going to release Amonkhet and Kaladesh into the historic format on, on Arena, but I don't think it's... I think they're just waiting to see the right time for it. Which is funny, because like if it takes this much consideration to release two sets that are actually already programmed into Arena, you can only imagine how long it would take to program the 54 sets that are not programmed into Arena to make modern, and then release those. Yeah, let's Fairy Seer. I don't think I don't think we're at a huge loss if we lose Fairy Seer, and they they don't have three swamps next turn for the uh... Scavenger is decent. Word Eye Witch, I don't really care about. I'll keep Scavenger on top, because we can just play it next turn and sack like Putrid Goblin. Meh. Not gonna not gonna let this guy get through, I'll just block. We'll just trade our putrid goblins. Totally fine. Unearth Mana War, huh? Yeah, alright. Bounce my Infiltrator again. God, it's so rude. This is like the rudest thing you could do. Could you guys hear those police sirens? That's pretty funny. Oh, they're bouncing the Fairy Seer. Oh. Fascinating. I guess they're just double blocking here. <clears throat> hmm. 
see if you're going to let me draw on the card. Well, if they didn't bounce the fairy, then we can actually attack with the fairy and then just replay this guy. Land? Looking for a land. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Go to main. Play the land. Fairy again. Actually, we should have played Gargantua. Are you going to counter this? Wow, that's insane. I'll be honest with you, that doesn't seem ideal. And they're still like two black away, so I think we just drop Eye Kite. If they go X is two, uh, it's a two for two. We get Putrid Imp and Ingenious Infiltrator still, so I'm actually fine with that. How'd the Red Bull and Tap Tavent go? Yeah, Journal answered it. Third place, lost 100% Esper. Played three Esper decks, beat one, lost the two. Standard's cool. What can you do? Gluttonous Slug and a second Swamp. Okay, so they're playing a 1-1 into their Crypt Rats, which is really interesting to me. So we attack, they block. That's not great. <clears throat> I do kind of like Scavengers going over the top, sacking Putrid, Imp Putrid Goblin, rather. I wish this was a zombie... Uh, Ninja Bird, but Gluttonous Slug is my high school nickname. Wow, that's really good. What a coincidence. We only have one ninja in the graveyard, but we do have uh, one zombie and we have two more zombies on the board. Teenage zombie ninja birds. Heroes that are molting. Zombie power. Oh, okay. Oh, they're finally going to be able to get through here. This is this is the moment of truth. This is where we get to see what they're holding. What deranged... Don't be fallen, Shinobi. 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 Okay, that's actually fine. That's so much better than Fallen Shinobi. Can I get a Fallen Shinobi? Can we draw our sick, sick Fallen Shinobi? Do you Crip Rats for two? And give me like a 5-6 Floaty Boy? No, you play Undead Hawk. Sounds good. Ooh. Throat's Endling, huh? Zombie, zombie. Ooh, that's nice. If we play Gargantua here, it doesn't seem like we're in that bad of shape. We also get to attack for six. Yeah, sure. I've actually been consistently looking for lands in this matchup. <laughs> I just want to hit all my land drops because we have a lot of things that we want to play. <clears throat> so we put them to four, which means like... Eh, I guess they only have one zombie here. So we can go block, block, block. We'll take three. If they tap us down with like choking tethers, take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we die. So if they have choking tethers, we're dead. They did not have it. We won the game. All right, <clears throat> I guess changelings are uh, hemp. Hemp chucking toads. What does that mean? I keep not loving force of negation. I'm 
Not sure we have anything better, though. I don't think I love Edict in its place. I think it's fine. Whatever. I will definitely keep this hand. This hand has a fallen shinobi in it and a way to protect it with force of negation. And that's all I want out of. That's versus not being a native English speaker. You sometimes mishear things greatly. I actually wouldn't have thought you were not a native English speaker, so well done. Um, I like both of these. <clears throat> I will put you on top. Actually, I'm going to put this on the bottom because we have three turns and I'd rather hit a blue source. So we have uh, next turn we're drawing helix. The, then we have a land. We have the potential to draw a land. Then potential to draw a land. So now we see. Now we need a. Now we need that island. Defile on fairy seer is pretty nice though. We could also just get back fairy fairy wizard here. I don't think we care about that though. Like, if we hit green, if we hit uh, an island next turn, we just get to go Phantom Ninja, which is great. I'm a fan. It's basically Counterspell. Oh, they're not going to play anything. I like it. That is not what we're looking for, guys. Yikes. I guess we can actually... Let's do this. It's not exciting, but... It lets us play this next turn. We can also protect it, so. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's not your, oh no, we can't even do that. That's terrible, dude. Oh, that's so bad. The circle of an accent is real and so is some pronunciation, but then most US citizens have trouble with lots of weird words. Yeah, no, you're, you're, not, you're not in a minority there, buddy. Yep, that's a good one. Yep, that's a better one. Two creatures that immediately negate my smiting helix. A one, five, six, seven, we have four, five. We, uh, that's so close. We can cast this on a putrid goblin. That seems bad. We also have a fallen shinobi. We can't cast. <sighs> Second island's really killing us here. Oh look, a six man, six damage to the face. Oh, this guy, this guy's fine. I'm at a point where I'd love to smiting helix, but I also want to play the phantom ninja if we hit a blue. So it's like, yeah, it's awkward. I think because they only, I guess they're just gonna replay putrid goblin. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's that's rough. We can also just play Hogak here. Oh, we can't spend mana to cast Hogak. I'm an idiot. That is not how that works. Two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're just playing Phantom Ninja. If we get to attack with Fallen Shadow next turn, we just win the game, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. We go to eight. I mean, not necessarily. We don't necessarily win the game, but it puts us way ahead. If we hit, if we hit well, and alternatively, we could just be dead. I think if we just kill this guy, we're still taking four, going to eleven, and we're not putting anything on the board, so it's not really better. Yep, no blocks. Yep. Also, if they stack it so there's good cards on top, I'd be thrilled.
Yeah, also against decks with Putrid Goblin, like, Diabolic Edict just gets so much worse. Oh, they left two cards on top. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten damage on board, so we literally have to hit something here. did hit something. Blocker. Blocker. <clears throat> it's not bad. Yikes. Can we just chump everything? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems pretty bad. Especially if we're going to one from this guy. So I think we might as well just double, maybe double block here, take six. <clears throat> you take one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's fine. If they kill, yeah, they're going to kill the Onirophage, so we're not actually going to take damage from the Undead Augur. And I don't have any problem pitching a spell here to counter like a to counter a spell, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to play Mono Creatures. Wow! <laughs> wow! Mirror match! Good lord. That's terrible for us. Yep, pretty much dead. That's, that's no bueno. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, we're taking the force out. We haven't seen anything that's even remotely. This is just two mana draw card, but you can splice it onto something, and I don't think that's very good. It might just be Ward Eye Witch. We have so many creatures, though. This is match two. We won match one. Ugh, Diabolic Edict is so bad when they have, like, double Putrid Imp, Putrid Goblin, and the other dude. Baby shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Let's play first. This hand is great. Multiple two drops. A three drop and a four drop. Sure, let's do it. Talking to someone who's like, the only reason Indian scammers are successful is because of five-year-olds FaceTiming and not the fault of 60 year olds because they're senile. Can't blame all that's, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's hard to blame your grandparents who don't really know what's going on for not knowing what's going on.
would have liked to land here, but, you know, sometimes you just don't hit a land. Next turn, if we hit a land, then we can exclude, ideally hit another land, and then we're in, then we're in business. They're missing blue, which is good for us. That's kind of like not hitting land. Yeah, we know they have the 3-3 three, three that comes down, so we're just not even... I ain't even having it. Now we're talking. Now we are... Now we are chatting productively. Shouldn't have actually attacked with the goblin. I was thinking they'd block, but... They might have ninjas. The only ninja they could have is a 3-3. Three, three. Um... I'm going to exclude this. Yep, and that should be the game. <laughs> That's actually, you just watch the game. You just watch the game end. They have no way to kill this guy. Or this guy, so these guys are definitely getting through. Wow, Fallen Shinobi is a broken magic card. Zimini Pod, thanks for thanks for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we ended up going one two, uh, facing three Esper decks, and uh, you know, what what can you do? What can you do? You're never too old to learn something new, but then maybe that's why Modern Legacy exists. <laughs> Decent point. All right. Decent point. It's okay. We're 2-0 in our, in our Modern Horizons draft, so what can you do? I guess go 3-0. I guess that's what you can do. I was going to ask if you saw any uh, thing besides Esper decks. Nope, I did not. Which is funny because Esper didn't even win the uh, the Mythic Championship. But uh, it was very well represented by Brad Nelson and Kai Bude in the, the top four. So, Let's play it up. No more delay? No more delay. We're not we're just we're just playing Modern Horizons now. You know what? Five swamps and a defile? I'll keep it. In before this is just uh just brutal. Aren't you hyped for Historic where you can continue playing old Esper? No. It's funny because Historic just strikes me as like instead of playing the new set, you'll probably just be playing the old set. There's just not enough there's not enough sets on arena for me to be excited about historic, right? Okay. I get it. This is 6 out of 9 swamps in our deck. If you could defile a few more gentlemen on stream, I'll have a pretty ha I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Get in there. Oh god, Esper control with Torrential Gear Hulk. You get back like Tyrant's Tyrant Scorn, is it called? And uh D Spark. Very aggressive. What if in Modern Horizons they had red and like green ninjas? What if they had different color ninjas?
I kind of want to get rid of this hollow head guy because I don't want them like looting. The problem is, like, sets like Historic are always, like, they're always things that happen, right? Like, there's always, there's also Frontier, there's Extended. Like, you're always making these arbitrary points uh, to create a new format so that the, the cards get more longevity. Um, the problem is that, like, one is that this is an Arena-only format. So it's like, you're not getting a ton of... It's not going to get a ton of exposure, right? Like, I can't go to my local... I guess you could go to your local game store and play it, but, like, are you going to? Killing in the name of wood? I mean, yes. Like, they could just be, like, it could be, like, a modern Horizons plane shift set where it's, like, red ninjas, white persist cards... Yeah, I don't want to take eight here. That's a that's a bit much. I'd rather just have my bird get another counter on it. They definitely do. You're right. They do have to do something for arena. Like no joke. But okay, this is this is a bit much. Hey, it's an island. Hey, what are you gonna do? Huh? We're playing this guy instead of the gargantua because uh, I don't want to go to nine here because that means any five and four is lethal. Whereas now I can take five and four and not die. I still think not being able to dust is super weird. Wow, they tap down this guy. They attack with everybody. Yep, we're just dead. That's un that's unbelievable. Well, that's unbelievable. And this time we're bringing in the Diabolic Edicts because all of these creatures are definitely fine to have them sacrifice. Edict, Edict, take out the Force, take out the Hogak, Hogak seems a little bit ambitious. Does anyone have a Logitech Brio or have anyone any any uh, experience with Logitech Brio? I want to know if it can swivel on the on the mount that it's on. If you can just if you can turn it like this left or right. Logitech Brio Brio webcam. Oh yeah, this actually seems pretty good. Baby shark.
this guy, this guy. <clears throat> Wait, why why wouldn't a webcam solve? That's a good question. It's because Logitech webcams have their own monitor mounts. And sometimes the mount just doesn't swivel. It just sits there and you can't move it back and forth. You can move it up and down and tilt it. Um, I wonder why this says when Ward Eye Witch or another creature you control dies, scry one, and not like whenever a creature you control dies, scry one. Because that would just cover the same thing, right? You could just literally take out Word I Witch or another and just say whenever a creature you control dies, scry one. Wow, this is, is, this is... I feel like we're already very, very ahead in this match. Second black would be nice, but... Yeah, you take what you can get. You take the good, you take... Oh, uh, I have it mounted on my monitor. Like, the Logi I have a Logitech C920 right now. See, that's what I have, actually. That's funny that you show me that, because that's literally what I have right here. But the problem is, it goes far... It's too far back on my monitor, so it doesn't actually... It's too far back on my desk, so it doesn't actually clear the monitor. Like, there's too big of a distance from the monitor to the back of the desk, so that it's only, like... It's... When it, when it looks forward, it's actually just seeing the back of the monitor. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's funny because I can't really show you the webcam because it's uh, it's what's it's what it's it's how you guys are seeing me. So I think you're out of luck. Then me too, dude. I I've been looking for the past week to try to find something. Just turn it around. Yeah, if I turn it around, uh, hmm. You heard of a thing called a mirror? Oh, this is how you're going to be now? This is how you're going to be? Okay. So this is 8 damage on board. I'm okay with it. This match was not really close. Well, you haven't won yet, you know. They could just play Wrath of God. Okay. Yep, had a feeling you were going to do that. Um, I will keep that on top and kill you. You take the gun, you take... Well, that, that match was uneventful. That game, rather. Match is not... The match is not over yet. This is what's known as a snap keep. We get to go Cabal Therapist into uh, Diabolic Edict into eventually Fallen Shinobi, ideally. Oh, man, they're on the play. That's aggressive. Oh, now we have Fallen Shinobi mana, which is nice. Did you check out a product line called Jellycomb? No, I did not. Is that a thing? Slivers you control have flying in haste. That's a good dude. Always oh, yield. I'm probably gonna say no. I would like another blue mana, but <clears throat> you know, oh, made to place on the screen. Well, that seems crazy. I don't know if I want it on my screen. Let's get this guy out of here. Now you just got a 2-2. Two -two. That's a good deal. Oh, boy, we did it. This is the dream we're meant to be living, guys. <clears throat> Next turn, Fallen Shinobi. Ooh, into Silmagar Scavenger. Ooh, ooh-wee. Did you just pull all the rares in your color for this draft? Uh, I think so. I think so. 
think so. Oh wow, they have double cloud shredder slivers. That's aggressive, my man. Why can't I block this guy? Oh, because it has float. That's pretty cool. Hey man, float's pretty cool. I'm going to say no. I'm sorry, what? Why are we in the beginning of combat step? Oh my god. Of course, this is this is what happens to me. You just misclick, man. Did you did I miss that? Yeah, you did. You did. Yep, we just literally could have played Fallen Shinobi last turn. Would have dealt an extra five damage. Had a had seven points of power on the board. Now we have three points of power, and we don't get to play Silumgar Scavenger this turn. That was such a that's if we're gonna lose, that's why. This is why we're losing. It's because this triggers on your on your at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, not your upkeep. I thought it triggered during your upkeep, so I clicked one extra time to go to my main phase, and uh, that did not work, as you can tell. Come on, give me something good. No lands. One land. Well, that guy would have actually murdered us, so... One, two... I think we're just dead if they play the four drop here. Oh, God. So bad, dude. I don't think they have it, though. Unless they're just... Unless it's like the slow roll of history. They've also missed three land drops, so like... The amount of webcam stands is insane, and like they're all exactly the same. They're all 25 inches. They're all like... I think we're dead. I don't I don't think we're alive here. God, that one turn, dude. I can't believe we did nothing on that turn. It's our own fault. Like, I mean, I can't I don't have anybody to blame. Like this was I just thought this was an upkeep trigger, but since it's a pre-combat trigger, I clicked okay and then I clicked okay again to go to the next phase cuz typically that's what you do. If something triggers in your upkeep, you click okay to make it go away. You click okay to proceed to the main phase. That's how I have my stop set. However, yeah, I actually, I saw this one too. Um, I don't know how long it is. Oh, it's 12 to 18 inches. So the other one was 25 inches. Yeah, so most of them just weren't tall enough for me. Oh, we're just going to the combat step. Oh man. Oh, that's oh, that's good for us. Okay. Okay. We're alive. And we have choking tethers. So if they tap out to play a dude. No. Go to the beginning of combat. So they can block one dude. If they block here, they take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four. So even if they can kill one of these two, five, six, seven, eight, six. Yeah, we're just going to cycle this. Or 
Are we somehow getting rewarded for this? Oh my god. After that monumental misclick of a turn, we still end up 3 0 the draft. Super sweet. I'll open this treasure chest while we're here. And then I'm going to get some sleep. Open one of these. Yes, open one. What do we got here? Five play points. A Mizzy. Oh, Snapcaster Mage. What does that guy even go for? What does Snapcaster Mage go for on, on Magic Online? It's probably going to be like 1.2 tickets. Hey, Snapcaster Mage is like eight tickets. That ain't bad. All right. Eight tickets. That seems legit. I'm game. I am okay with that. Sweet. That's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on YouTube, on Twitch, on Patreon. Manitraders.com. Link in promo code or in the description. 20% off. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check out coolstuffinc.com. You can find an article I wrote just this week about, uh, about a pretty sweet Sultai Snow deck that had Fallen Shinobi in it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.